All right, mud lovers, here we are. We're hovercrafting again. We've got four hovercraft out today. Let's go and get some luck in the muck. Nathaniel, how'd you find your first trip on Hovercraft, mate? Yeah, that was sick. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that was sick. You weren't too worried, a little nah, too nervous, nah, enjoyed it, yeah? Yeah, no, nah, I won't have a go next time, though. Yeah. So, mud lovers, today we've got a guest with us. His name is Nathaniel. He's actually an award winning, medal winning, awesome scooter. Uh, what do you call it? Scooter rider? Yeah, scooter rider. I said it. Oh my god, I actually said it. Yeah, so he's pretty, pretty hot in that scene. So, uh, First time out on hovercraft, mate. What do you think? Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah, cool. No, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, well, we did do some mudlarking in a minute, and you have done mudlarking before? Never in my life. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is keep your eyes to the ground, drop your headphones. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, we did a bit of mudlarking today. You ever done mudlarking before? No, I've never done that. No, well, that simply means looking for anything old and interesting. On the foreshore, when the tide goes out, we've found Roman pottery in the past, we get Victorian bottles, um, shrapnel, all sorts of stuff. You never know what you're going to find, so hopefully. Yeah, what you might find today, yeah. Bit of luck, it's so nice. Bit of luck in the muck is what we say, yeah? yeah bit, bit of luck, luck in the, the muck. muck. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Alright. That was unfair. This is what he can really do. Okay, okay, this time I promise. Perfect. <laughs> So there's a, there's a bottle here, and it's fairly modern to be fair. Yeah, you can tell by the top. It's a crown top, one you, you know, break open like that. It's a bit older. Want some older stuff, ideally, yeah. We have a little sliver of Roman pottery. Yes. As you can see. That's a nice bit, actually, isn't it? It's nice smooth. So, a bit of Roman pottery, actually. Couple of nice bits around here, and it's small though. Oh, there's a pot over there. Let's go out and have a look. Or is it just a teacup? Uh, might be a Keeler's. Jam jar, I think. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty cool. That has a Coke bottle. That's really, it's pretty mad, isn't it? Well, first little find goes to Jules. Sorry about the sunlight, it's a bit, it's a bit bright out here today, but he's had a nice little... Pipe. Pretty cool, mate. Shame, shame. It's uh, not got the other foot of stem on it. Nah, well, that it's is uh, what it is. First little find. Nice. There you go. Little wonky donkey, but that's a three-part mould. Not particularly old. 1920s, they're about. Still pretty nice, though. Lovely barnacles on it. Got trouble light today. I'd say it is. It is a little bit sailing yeah. in where. That's pretty cool. Good sign. Bit there, it's probably from the same pot. So, so there's evidence. <laughs> Come and see anyone? I right, can't. <laughs>
So the boys are going to see what's on the other side of this creek. I'm going to stay this side and do some mud larking. Think of anything small and interesting. Uh, see what we can come up with. Look at that guys, it's a uh, lovely piece of uh, pottery with an anchor on, it's a piece of broken pottery, crockery with an anchor on, probably come from the naval guys that worked on who? Oh, I would say it's a broken bottle but it's got some nice embossing on it I think, oh there we go, yeah we'll keep that one. Can't read it, but uh, we'll clean it up when we get to Hovercraft HQ and show you later. And another piece. How neat is that? Also, link pot. Unfortunately, the lips a bit smashed. The neck's a bit smashed, so maybe leave this one behind for another mud larker. Oh, here is another bottle. What if it's complete? Ah, oh, it's broken. Which only means that I can now cut it down and upcycle it. So I don't mind finding these. They're pretty cool. I'll take it, clean it up, and show you later. Stick around for the cleanup. Just found a tiny little poison bottle. Complete. Oh no, it's got a name on. Oh, it's like it says poisonous. That's awesome. Not to be taken. That is a lovely little one. Smallest poison bottle I've ever found. It happened. <laughs> I've just heard over the comms that uh, they may have found some human remains. Let's have a look. Pelvis. I could be a whole skeleton in situ. Right, we just found some human remains. Right, but if you look, this is the bottom part of the leg. It's obviously been, he's obviously had his leg, well, she's had the leg amputated, 
but the bone's grown back over, so that's not like a butchery. You can't see another marrow or nothing inside. You've got the pelvis, some of the spine. Yeah, look, that's the bottom, that's the human pelvis. That would have been like that. This stuff looks like a Never know what else might be here. Interesting bits, look. Oh, loads of metal around here. Oh, what's that? That's probably a button. He's got his first bottle mudlark in. Well, hey. Gonna have with my eagle eyed assistant. That's awesome, that is. That's what do you reckon that is? Stoneware ink, bot, ink pot, so yeah. that'd be full up. You buy that in bulk. Right, yeah. show him the others. How many you got? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Screw top, though. Oh, yeah, a bit here. late, but still, it's a nice little thing. Milk bottle, yeah. yeah. And a Beer chunky bottle. old. It's got a name on it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. He's well happy with that, ain't you, Nate? Yeah, I want that one. That's yeah. my one. You can have that. You can have that, yeah. Oh, it's definitely yours, man. Anything you say, you can keep. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. How old do you reckon this is? Victorian, 1880 yeah. to 1900s. That sort of era. Yeah, nice. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. How'd it go out there, right? Yeah, it's all right. Cool. You still didn't let me drive it, but... <laughs> oh, well, maybe you've got to go... Uh, you have to have a complete session first to get, uh, get a feel for it. What's this? You just found a coin. Oh, it was a coin, so you broke it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, a lot of this stuff is quite um it's uh it's like it's got a dump feel to it, so it's uh it's been probably burnt and then dumped yeah. here. But that's probably a coin though, keep hold of that. We might we'll keep hold of it, we'll clean it up when we get back just in case we might be able to get a um we might be able to get something off it. It's probably a Victorian penny. Yeah. But we might find a button or two around here, look, it's still quite interesting. Yeah, a little buckle. Not particularly old, but still quite interesting. Other pieces of uh, copper knocking around. There might be a little treasury somewhere. Keep your eyes open. It's lead. That could be a button. Oh, it's the top of a screw. More lead. Don't look over here. Little knob. Here's a button. Got a button here, but I'm trying to Just a fly button. Oh. It's all quite interesting, but they, you know, where there's stuff like this, there might be little lead toys or it's all from the 20s, but yeah, just interesting bits of metal work really. Might have something with a name on, we can look further into it. Oh look, a little key. That's sweet. Okay. Was oh. <laughs> <laughs> it unlocked though? You need oh. to find the chest now that it unlocks. Yeah. The treasure chest. Locker. That could be the key to your wife's heart. <laughs> okay. 
as a part of a buckle. Uh, part of a bullet, 303. Oh, that's like a coin. Like a Torian penny. So continuing the theme of uh, pottery with anchors on, I've actually found there with a name on it. T. G. Green and Co. Church something. Grez, uh, Gaze, I don't know. Gress, Le, something. It's pretty cool. There's a bottle there, look. And also that looks like a clay pipe, or is that a bone? That's a bone. Oh. Wine bottle. Oh look, unfortunately that's broken. No. A few little treasures here. Oh, there's a pot lid base here, pot base. That's beautiful. That is really cool. I love that. I've got a piece of wood here, piece of a uh, probably piece of um, I don't know, it's an old tree or timber structure, but it's actually eroded out and left all the knots behind. That's really cool. That's really, I love that. There's a button there. Has it got anything on it? Oh, I think it might be plain. Actually, it might not even be a button. I've got some treasure. How you doing? What are you doing, Rob? Rob's got himself a nice flag on. Right, Rob, what you found, mate? Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? Chatham, not Chatham. That's nice. Yeah. Lovely oh, yeah, job, Lee. Chatham, it was. Chatham. Hello, mate. Yeah, Sweet yeah, find. Got one of them. Oh, that's like a little vinegar bottle or something in it, or I'm not sure. I don't know. That's pretty sweet. Unusual little. Uh... That is a nice little. Oh yeah, you got the gin bottle. Gordon's gin. Jam jar, pickle jar. Pickle. That's pickle. That one there, and that other one's jam. That's not bad. Little fine. Well done, mate. Steve's found a torpedo bottle. Is it anything on it, mate? Um, it's covered in barnacle, so I can't tell at the moment. I will get it back to Hofgraft HQ and have a look, yeah? Hopefully it's got something on it, but... That's awesome, mate. Well done. Yeah. Uh, Trimmy's found one like that as well. Is he? Have you had one of those, Right, let's go and have a look and see what these boys have found. We really need a film crew with each uh, Hofgraft, really. Don't show them mine. Oh, you've got loads of them. Oh, easy. Ah. Sure. So, like, this says... Alice Slope. Ooh. Yeah, oh, so I've got one of them. Famous Welsh. Oh, I've got oh, exactly wow, the same. Oh, wow, that's so exactly nice. I don't care about your one. Oh, oh, right. this one. Oh, right. My, I've, I've got one of those. <laughs> I have one of those. <laughs> yeah, I have one of those got as well. One of these, yeah, you ain't got one of these, have you? Are you ready for the pick we feel? Yes. I've got one in there. Hey, look, just get it the right way there. Don't drop drum it. Roll. Dr drum, drum roll. roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, all right, I'm jealous. I'm not normally a bottle person, but that's nice. And Jules tells me it's even worth a bit. So. Yes. <laughs> so we start the bidding at £25, £25, £25, £25. Yeah, £25. Yeah, £25. Yeah. Happy with that. And it doesn't end there. Oh, Ooh. Jules has got loads. And there's more. <laughs> yeah, just when you thought we couldn't get Ooh, any better. Oh, nice cod. No, Beautiful. It's, not it's, a, it's, a, it's, like a, it's something like a sight patent or something. Oh, nice. Know, but yeah. it is, obviously, it's a cod. But Anything on here, mate? No, I've, got cold, um, I've got a torpedo bottle. I've got a torpedo bottle, everyone. <laughs> Steve's got a torpedo <laughs> bottle. <laughs> if anyone's interested, <laughs> I feel left out. I've got a bottle. <laughs> I've got stuck. <laughs> Did you find one like that, Wilfred? What's that? So it's a special patent, and there's a name yeah. for this patent, but I can't remember what it is. We've got a cod's patent, but it's a rare patent. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, e. Hartridge. Yeah, we like patents. Milton next, Sittingbourne. That could be quite a rarity. One for the Kent boys. God's patent. We'll get that verified. Is it worth taking jobs? Whiskey bottle. E. Hartridge. 
Milton next sitting ball. That's lovely. Just an unusual, like, like you say, the patents yeah, I think where there were designs. Like Sykes patent or something like that. It's got Cod's patent. It's Cod's patent, patent but this, it, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, these patents, they were designed so that if it, if it caught off as a new, the thing, next best thing, then the people who designed it, they'd be quids in. So people yeah. were making patents left, right and centre. My poison bottle was a patent because that was a slightly different way of putting the bubbles on and this is a slightly different way of uh, keeping the contents fresh it may have been that this was a better design than the, the other copper uh, the marble, marble on Ooh, what colour is the marble? black I think whoa do you know what guys if this actually is a black marble which it could well be that makes it even rarer so we'll clean that up when we get home and have a proper look but well, what well mate it's a puck of find thank you <laughs> So look Ben, what you got mate? Oh, nothing right. special buddy, just a clay pipe. It's alright though, it's all good. Yeah. Well it's the only thing I've found all day, so that'll do, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I've just found a big ink jar, just like Nathaniel's, but it's bigger, believe it or not. Well we've got a blob top here. I don't know if there's anything on it. Oh yeah. Our whites, complete our whites. Nice, yeah. Quality. What's this? We have plain little Victorian pot. Oh look, got all on a flipping bracelet. <laughs> known as a case gin. Very nice. And it would have been in a wooden crate with probably nine or twelve bottles. And they're and square so they square, take up so less room. Take up less room and it's sit in that box. And uh, the sealed ones would have a nice seal on the top here uh -huh. so that the seal didn't hit. And it showed the maker and where it originated yeah, from. And where it came from. Yeah lovely. Well uh, this is probably what 1900 did you yeah, say? 1900s yeah. Nice nice unusual bottle that. Yeah but it's in nice condition. It's not worth a lot but it's Nice bottle. Yeah, we'll clean up nicely. Display nicely. Well done, mate. Yeah. Well found. Still a nice pub glass. Nice pub glass, yeah. Nice glass. barnacles. Oh, yeah. Nice that's one sweet. for Roland. Nice scooter bottle. Roland's. That's lovely. Oh, there you go. Hey, Roland's. Mmm. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? It goes right. Yeah. Lovely poison bottle here, found by Trimmy. Good work, mate. And it's military um, issued, you can tell by the broad arrow. Great condition. I love it. Feels like it might have a cork in there as well, maybe. Top vine, top vine, love that. Well done, mate. Cheers, sir. Oh, what, so that beats expenditure? I hadn't thought with that. Yeah, I yeah. you about the arrow. Yeah. All right, my lovers, here we are back at Hovercraft HQ. Let's go through a few of our finds. Oh, on hair update. Oh, yeah. It's getting long, it's getting long. I mean... Well, that is, uh, that's beautiful, Steve. Oh, no. Are you going to get a ponytail? I don't know. You do a little pineapple for me. I can do a pineapple. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. You know you got to keep growing it now until it gets, like, proper long. Well, I want to be a real pirate, don't I? So. Exactly. <laughs> right, what we've got? Beer bottle? Look at the size of that. That has got to be one of the biggest glass beer bottles we've found. We think it's beer. It would be, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. You well. think so? Woodhams and Co Limited. It's 
bit of a yep. snails. Snails. These are Nathaniel's finds. Actually, I think I found this one and gave it to him yep. because he found that one. No, I found that one. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> he's he's going to take him anyway because he loved these sort of things and uh, we find a fair few. You, got, you can't be a nice bit of stoneware, can you? Um, these have actually got maker's marks on. I think one of them has. There, there we oh, go. Yeah. Born Denby. Oh, yeah. Born. There you go. It should really belong to me, but uh, they're not that rare. So we're happy for Nathaniel to take those. Oh, oh I nearly went. Oh, stay on. Is there another maker's mark on this one? Uh, that was just plain, but that's probably from the same, that's probably from Lambeth or somewhere. Steve's got a lovely torpedo bottle. Why is, it called, why is it called torpedo bottle? Hmm. Torpedo shape. <laughs> 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 do I actually... But the people at do home... I, do I actually know. have to explain why that's called a torpedo <laughs> bottle? Well, you might have to explain to the people at home. And do you know why it's shaped like that? Do I know why? Yes. Of course I know why. Okay, well explain to the people right. at home why oh, it's... Right, because right. well, uh... right, you, you'd have a cork in there. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, and the idea was, because it was fizzy, like fizzy drinks, and like the sort of in the infancy of Victorian times, what they was finding was they'd put the cork in, stand the bottle up, the cork would dry out and pop out. So they made them this shape, so you had to lay it down. There we go. Fantastic. Which then kept the cork wet. And Mr. Hamilton invented that. That's what Mr. Called... Hamilton did invent that, yes. yes. Or we can call it a torpedo bottle. Or a torpedo bottle, or a Hamilton. Or a really annoying bottle when you open <laughs> it and you can't put it down nowhere. Yeah, exactly. You have to drink the whole lot, which ain't a bad thing, I yeah. suppose, if it's made of beer. One of my favourite bottles today is um, one that Steve found, and uh, I think Jules found another one. But it's so cool, a little pictorial look one. And it's um, Ali Stopper, uh, favourite relish. I think it's really cool. And he's, no, he's, he's holding it. really cool. If you slice the top off and made a pint glass out of it. I can do that for you, mate. That's no problem. All right, I'm giving this to Simon. Simon's going to make me a pint glass. I'm sure <laughs> we'll be drinking out of. And don't worry, guys, they're not rare. We had a quick check in the yeah, yeah, no, they're Yeah, yeah, Five to ten quid, something like that. So it's not, uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we're not destroying okay. history. We're making right. something I can use. Yeah. Cool. Well, I did find a few bottles of my own. This one is a gorgeous little uh, poison bottle. Uh, it's actually got the word poisonous on the back, you saw that one come up, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. It's got a little chip there, but um, uh, that'll display pretty cool. In fact, it's got a little crack there as well, but never mind. Still a lovely little bottle. I do love the blue poison bottles, they're really cool. Um, this is probably another little relish, or maybe a little juice, Victorian, sheer lip. Like that one. Steve, you found this one, didn't you? Yep, yep little inkwell, again Victorian and sheer lip. They didn't finish these very... Uh, well, because they were just mass produced, but um, still a nice little thing. It's got bubbles in there and all sorts, and uh, they're lovely to find. And finally, a few little upcyclers. I will definitely take the tops off these. That's an Armites, as you can see, and two identical ones Dove, Phillips, and Pet Limited, DPMP, Rochester. So that was probably either a mineral water or lemonade or soda or something like that. So, yeah, not a bad little haul. The others did pretty well as well, didn't they? They found a uh, it's a nice bottle, oh, so yeah, no, um, really nice poison. hopefully Trimmy will send us a picture of that um, Right, I don't know if we can bottle. make this look bigger, but um, imagine <laughs> this, right? About that big. Put it side by side. Oh, and it'll be, uh, it did say poisonous, like that did, across the top. Yeah. It, it, what it had on it, which I'm going to probably show you, it had the military, they call it Broad Arrow, or Broad Cross, mm. so, which meant it was property, property of the military, so... Yeah. Everything back in the day, even roof tiles that I oh, really? Yeah, they've got the broad arrow on them. Trust you to bring up roof tiles. <laughs> Can't help himself. And the nails. The copper nails, this this is I mean this is really interesting, right? <laughs> The copper nails that you use to nail slates in, the military ones actually have on the end of them a little broad arrow stamped in them. Have you got one? No. Okay. Well um, we'll get a picture up and show you that. Yeah, we'll find one. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you on the next mud venture with the Hovercraft History Hunters. Don't forget to peace out. No. Don't forget to. Oh yeah, no, I'll right, tell you what, right? Like, subscribe, tell your friends and tell them to like and subscribe. And then we can bring you more viewers. Viewers? No, we'll bring you more cool content. That's right. Yeah, we'll bring them more content, you bring the viewers. You bring the viewers, we'll bring the content. <laughs> okay guys, see you later. Now I'm going to do a little bit more resin art today using those pieces of metal that were found out and about on the Hovercraft and using other old pieces that I found during metal detecting and mudlarking to come up with a robot idea. I'm using this epoxy resin from Vuba. They're very good. If you ever want to try some resin art yourself, 
I recommend using these guys, links in the description below. Also, I've got some epoxy resin colouring as well that I may use just to jazz up the design a little bit. So let's give it a go. Cheers. Welcome to the world, Cyrobot 1.0. I'd like to make more of these in future with other finds that I have up, but I thought I might let this robot loose into the world. So it's going to be on eBay for sale, so if you fancy a cheeky bid, check out the link below. Thanks for watching, mud lovers, and see you on the next mud venture.